so this is in continuation to the previous discussion i had covered the uh, course outline as well as uh, the announcements tab now the most important part is the discussion forum we have to really demystify that so when you press ask a question tab from the top menu you land into the discussion forum now i will try to cover three parts one what is this discussion forum second how you have to submit tasks in the discussion forum and third where and how to go about making those submissions so first what is this discussion forum so you remember i signed in using my gmail id to land here so by default i became a part of a google group just to cross check this is the google group page and as you can see the discussion forum for media information and empowerment shows here so this particular thing this particular id that Here's you see is basically the discussion forum id we have to send receive mails on this id only okay i would like now like to close this google group okay because whatever things you read here all the discussions that have happened so far in all weeks i can find them on my gmail as well so many of us are still posting the week 5 assignments so you can see i'm receiving this particular email in my gmail id in my gmail account sorry so i'm subscribed to it this is the id to which i have been automatically subscribed as in when any announcement is posted by the instructor as in when any new task is given anything and everything there is an email about it and you get that email on the id that you have given to swayam so the first part is over what is the discussion forum second part is how you have to use the discussion forum a lot of you know messages came today in the telegram group that you know one is unable to use this particular interface to post the answers and comment on other people's answers and things like that i say don't sweat it out it's best that you use your gmail id you know we are talking about this particular id so if you have to submit an answer you write to this id i will go to compose i will type discussion forum and i will write my week week 5 assignment and i post my answer and press the send button automatically it we it will be reflected here very soon but you don't have to wait for this interface to show you your answers you can always use your gmail id for all communication so if you have to answer some if you have to comment on somebody's answer which is also an important par, uh, part of the task and for that we are graded also we use our gmail right so the second point is over now the second question is uh, i hope no longer a question now number 3 is where to submit the discussion forum answers again i will explain this by way of an example this is the subjective assignment for week 5 i have just clicked on it simply didn't do much so this particular explanation of the task is right here and this is how we submit so mostly we are supposed to click a screenshot of the answers and submit the screenshots here so i have already made my submission for week 5 the time and the date are already given here and i used add file button and i submitted by pressing the submit button very self explanatory so i hope the discussion forum is no longer looking like a rocket science to us so last part about the discussion forum is that you know the interface itself um the swayam interface itself and how discussion forum looks like in the swayam interface there is always uh, 
a choice with us how many emails do we want to receive the display name we want to choose and the email id that we have given for correspondence these details matter a lot for example if your email delivery preference says don't send email updates then please don't expect that your inbox will carry any emails by default you will be in a google group but uh, you have to understand that these settings do play an important role uh, over and above this this is a very constructive uh, interface as you can see you can post a new topic as we all are from different walks of life we are skilled in various fields so we all have good perspectives we all can bring new perspectives so in order to connect with like minded people this is the best platform this is over and above the tasks that are given to us if we feel strongly about certain topics we can always you know post them and can expect answers or connect with our peers on certain issues and what not then there are filters if you want to look for a particular topic for example if i want to look for uh, um media policy and just choose that and i search so all my search will show here as far as media policy is concerned the results will reflect there are about 101 results for media policy so that's that i hope there are no more questions as far as discussion forum is concerned uh if we if you dive deep into it really is not that difficult and uh, as far as other tabs are concerned they are pretty self explanatory so i suppose uh, if you still have any questions you can put them in the telegram group i'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge and ability and this is just uh, in the zest to help uh, fellow mates so thank you for keeping up and uh, good luck